All right, the third story, just because it's so freaking bananas and shows you how stupid the endless racialization of everything is. I had to do this story. Uh, Major League Baseball, America's pastime, people. It is going to invest $150 million to ensure that more black people play baseball. We've got some quotes from ESPN, which used to be a pretty decent sports network. I don't even know exactly what it is right now, except a 24-hour race palooza network. Uh, Major League Baseball is committing up to $150 million to the Players Alliance, a nonprofit organization formed last year and composed of active and former Major League players aiming to build more equitable systems in baseball and increase black representation throughout the sport, according to a Monday news release. Beginning in 2023, MLB will provide an annual 10 million plus an additional 5 million in matching contributions from external Players Alliance fundraising. It represents the largest financial commitment in MLB history towards the goal of improving diversity in sport on the field, in managerial coaching positions, and in front office leadership. So, okay, before we get to breaking down uh, some of the stats related to how many white people and black people and Hispanic people play baseball or basketball or anything else, which is just so stupid in, in and of itself. Before we do that, I just want to say something about sports in general. Nobody cares what color you are in sports, except this new hyper-racialized woke set of people. I have played basketball my whole life. I've played baseball. I've watched sports my whole life. As you know, I don't watch any current sports anymore. I watch old sports. But when you're playing a sport and when you care about sport, whether it's track and field, whether it's basketball, whether it's swimming, sports are the great equalizers. It's the ultimate meritocracy. Nobody cares. If you're a great athlete, everybody loves you, right? Like if you're a great athlete and the best at what you do and you try the hardest and play the hardest and you win, it's like nobody's running around caring about race. Nobody cared that Magic Johnson was black and Larry Bird was white. If anything, it was sort of fun. It, there, was a, there was a sort of funness between this white guy from Indiana and Magic Johnson, Showtime LA, right? Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares except these people. So now let's just break down some numbers uh, right now. So in the Major League Baseball, by race, 57.5% of the players are white. 31.9% of the players are Hispanic, 7.7% are black, and 2.9% are Asian. So that's, that's pretty interesting. And then I said to my guys, well, let's get some numbers. I don't know what the, the racial breakdown of America is because I don't really care about this stuff. So I said, let's get the racial breakdown of America and compare it to these numbers. So in America, 60% of the people in America are white. Now, 57.5% of the Major League play Baseball players are white, so actually, white people are underrepresented in Major League Baseball. So I assume that somebody's gonna start a nonprofit to up that to 2.5%, right? We gotta get that 57.5, we gotta up that 2.5%, get that to 60%, so that white people are exactly 60% in society and exactly 60% in baseball, because that's equity and yeah. Okay, Hispanic people, man, they are crushing it in Major League Baseball. 31.9% of Major League Baseball players are Hispanic, but only 18% of Americans are Hispanic. So Hispanics are overrepresented by about 13% in baseball. We've got to get rid of them. The same way we got rid of Asian people at Harvard, we must get rid of Hispanic baseball players. Now I know the media matters, people. That's the clip you guys are gonna go for. Enjoy it, there you go, you losers. Uh, black people, okay, so this is the interesting one. Black people, 7.7% of Major League Baseball players are black, 13% of Americans. So it's off by you know a little less than 6%, about 5.5% or so, right? Now, okay, so black people are slightly underrepresented. Does that seem like a major problem? Does that seem, is, is uh, Somebody stopping black people from playing baseball? Do black people generally like basketball more? I don't know, that's a general thought. Uh, but nobody's stopping them, literally nobody's stopping them. Like, is there a young kid who is a great young black baseball player who is like crushing it, right? And then the coaches and the league is like, ah, we don't want any more black people in this league. Like, it's just sheer nonsense. And then Asians slash other, <laughs> so I don't know who qualifies as other, uh, are at two 
0.9%. Now, uh, I thought we'd jump over to the NBA because basketball is my favorite sport, as you know, and, and if baseball has a racial problem, then I, I would suspect that basketball would have an even bigger racial problem. Uh, so white people make up only 16.9% of NBA players. Now, white people are 60% of America. Do the math, people. We got a big, big problem. We got about a 43 percentage point problem over there. We've got to get more white people in the NBA. I'm gonna show you a video of me on the basketball court in just a moment because it's time. My dreams are about to come true, it's very exciting. Hispanics are only 2.2% of the NBA, but they're 18% of, uh, of all of America. Now they were overrepresented in baseball, so we'll just, that's a wash, okay? We'll just let that be. And I'd hear, this one's a doozy, this one's tough. Black people, 74.2% of the NBA are black and 13% uh, of uh, America is black. So they got about a 61 percentage point difference there. So we've got to lower the amount of black people. In the name of equity, we're gonna have to, we'll just randomly select them. You know, it's, the, it's what we have to do.